sweet mother of Joseph. <laughs> what an episode. That Mando just keeps getting better and better. I honestly thought this was just going to be a filler episode after the, you know, the last, episode, last episode with Ahsoka. What the hell? If you're listening to this before you've even watched the episode, stop right now. Just go and watch it. Honestly, to, actually to me that was better than the last episode. And I love the last episode. I think the last episode was the best one Mando yet. I think this had just topped it. Wow. Anyway, let's get into this uh, episode breakdown. So we do start off with Mando and uh, Grogu in the ship, and it's quite a touching moment where I think Mando, look, he, and you can tell in his voice, is a bit sad that the potential loss of Grogu not being with him anymore, going to train with the Jedi. Uh, you can uh, just see it in his actions and his voice that he's sad about it. But as Ahsoka told him to do, they went to Tython and taking Grogu to the um, Scene Stone on the Jedi uh, old de- ancient ruins. Once they arrive, they see where they've got to take him to. Um, and when they do get there, they, uh, Mando places Grogu on the scene stone. You know, he's expecting something to happen straight away. Grogu to see into the Force and etc, etc. But it doesn't happen straight away. Then next, we hear a ship. We then see the ship. And it's the Slave One. Boba Fett, Slave One. Boba, Boba, I don't care how we all say it. But Boba Fett is here. Uh, and he arrives... And by, uh, obviously Mando sees it and wants to get hold of um, Grogu. But when he turns and Grogu is on the scene stone, he's in meditation. And it has this like aura around the meditation. It, 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 it stops Mando from being able to take Grogu to the, and go back to the ship and hide. Time's up, kid. we got to get out of here. We don't have time for this. we got to get... <laughs> Hey, step out of it, kid. We gotta get out of here. We need to remember that Mando, he won't have a clue who this is. He just thinks it's a target after Grogu, baby Yoda, the kid. Um, So his instinctive actions are to get the kid and protect him, but he can't. Upon coming face to face with Boba Fett, um, Mando thinks he wants Grogu, but he actually turns around and says, I want my my armour back uh, that you took from Cobb Vanth on Tatooine. Mando asks who he's working for, and you know uh, Boba Fett says he works for no one. Uh, I only assume that's from the past, his past where he was a bounty hunter. Whether he still does that now, it remains to be seen. Mando doesn't believe what he says and still has his his uh, guard up, and you know he says to Boba, like, "Go away! You're not having this. This is not yours. This belongs to the Mandalorian. It's best go around. But basically, it's not for him." Boba then goes on to say, "If you don't put your weapon down," then I'm going to get my sniper to snipe the, the child, essentially. Which Mando says, well, I've got best guy arm, so as soon as I see that flash, both of you are going to be dead. The sniper turns out to be no one, no other than uh, Fennec, who we thought was, was dead uh, earlier on in Mandalorian. And then we actually did see Boba Fett in the season one when he went up to her body at the end of an episode. We then have another ship that arrives, uh, and they're full of stormtroopers, which are sent from Moff Gideon. At that point, we don't actually know that, but I think we can gather that from the previous episodes. While the stormtroopers come, Amanda goes to the child to try and get him out of his meditation, uh, while Fennec and Boba Fett take on the stormtroopers, which is what like, it's such an epic, epic scene. It's, it's epic battles. Uh, it's just what you want to see in a Star Wars, in Star Wars in general, but in such an episode, it, it's amazing, honestly. But as hard as Mando tries to get Baby Yoda out of the meditation, he just can't, so his best thing is to go and help the fight. Uh, he tells uh, Grogu he'll be back, just stay safe, he'll protect him. During the battle, Bobo actually sees the Razor Crest, and I assume he, he feels or he knows that his, uh, his arm is in that ship. He then proceeds to stare at the ship while uh, Fennec and Mando are taken on more stormtroopers. While Mando and Fennec they start to struggle against the stormtroopers, they're outmuscled, outnumbered, um, and in comes jetpacking down Boba Fett, who takes them all out. And there are some that do escape on the ship, and as they do so, Boba uses his missile and uh, aims for one of the ships. He hits the one first, the way which then explodes and falls and knocks into the second ship, which then he takes down. <laughs> which at that point he was actually aiming for the ship that was closest to him and missed, but it hit the other ship that took the 
ship he was actually aiming for down. After this happens, we just see in the distance a big red laser beam come down and strike the razor crest and blows it all up completely. There's nothing left of it. The red laser that came down and hit the razor crest uh, came from Moff Gideon's Imperial Cruiser. At that point, Moff Gideon then sends down his dark troopers, which is what we thought in previous episodes that they were. They were dark troopers. So he sends down dark troopers to go take Grogu, who by now has used so much energy meditating. He's uh, sleeping on the rock. He's, he's tired and, and doesn't know what's going on around him. So as the dark troopers are heading back to the Imperial Cruiser, uh, Boba Fett turns up in his Slave 1 and he basically goes to track where they're heading to. Uh, and then when he gets closer, he sees that they're going to an Imperial cruiser, which he then says they're back. In which Fennec replies, who are back? Boba then proceeds to say, the Empire. After that, we then see Mando going through the wreckage of his uh, razor crest. And all that's left that survives is his Beskar spear. Mando then walks back up to Boba Fett and Fennec. Boba shows Mando his chain code, which he then says has been in his armour for 25 years. Uh, this then proves his armour once belonged to his father, Django, and now belongs to himself, Boba Fett. The chain code also revealed that Django was a foundling of the Mandalorian. Boba Fett then thanks Mando for the return of his armour. Mando then says, well, the deal's complete now. Uh, Boba then replies, well, it's not yet. We agreed in the exchange for the return of my armour that we would ensure the safety of the child, in which Mando then ret uh, replies, oh, the child is gone. Boba Fett then says, until he's returned to you safely, we are in your debt. As we approach the end of the episode, this is where I think my favourite bit is now. Um, we end up back on Moff Gideon's ship, the Imperial Cruiser, in which we are seeing Grogu use the force on the Stormtroopers. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of my favourite parts of the episode and it's a must-see. <laughs> I feel like we're going to start seeing Grogu's uh, training come through now and hopefully he's going to start remembering what he learnt. Um, but yeah, anyway, as Grogu takes out Stormtroopers, he, once he's done it, he's very tired, he's lost all his energy, um, which Gideon then approaches Grogu. Gideon then says to him, have you ever seen one of these from your years past? And proceeds to show him his black sabre. Grogu then tries to find the strength to use the force on, on uh, Moff Gideon, but he just doesn't have it. Gideon then says to him, it looks like you could use a nice long sleep. Uh, th and then once he says that, a stormtrooper then stuns Grogu and Gideon tells them to put him in shackles. Gideon then informs his captain to go let, get hold of Dr. Pershing to inform that they have their donor. And that was the episode. Um, with... Gideon showing uh, baby Grogu the Black Saber. I now think this is the next episode, or at least the episode after that, is where we're going to see um, Bo Katan again, and even maybe I really hope Ahsoka again as well. Like I said a few uh, videos ago, the Black Saber is I think going to be quite important in this. Maybe not even this season. It might be this season, but maybe definitely season three. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Um, let me know what you thought of the episode. Uh, if you did watch all the way through, very much appreciated. Thanks, guys.